Good day everybody! Pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay angle pair. Ito ay ang adjacent angles, complementary angles, linear pair, supplementary angles, and vertical angles. So let's begin with adjacent angles. So when you say adjacent angles, simply these are two angles with common vertex and common side. So, here in our figure, angle A, B, D, and angle C, B, D are considered adjacent angles. Why? Because they share a common side. And their common side is B, D. And they share common vertex. That is point B. Say we have this figure. Angle D, E, K, and angle K, H, J are not adjacent angles. Why? Because, as you see, they do not share a common side and common vertex. So, walang common side, walang common vertex. Now, let's proceed with complementary angles. Ano nga ba ang complementary angles? If the sum of the measures of two angles is 90, then the angles are called complementary. And each is called a complement of each other. Example, we have here angle ABC. Angle ABC. Its measure is? 30 degrees and we have here another angle D B A with the measure of 60 degrees if we add these two if we combine these two it will be forming a right angle okay and there's some the measure of their of these two angles is 90. So, this is 30 degrees and the other one is 60 degrees. If we add these two, the total is 90 degrees. And as you see, meron ditong maliit na square. So, whenever you saw this one, it indicates a 90 degree angle or a right angle, a perpendicular symbol. Okay? Next, if we have this figure, let us find out the value of x. So, as you see, if we add these two angles, we'll have 90 degrees. So, our formula is x plus 62 degrees equals 90 degrees. Applying transposition, we will transpose positive 62 degrees to the other side. And we'll get 90 degrees minus 62 degrees. We'll have 28 degrees. So, let's check. So, x plus 62 degrees. Let's substitute 28 degrees to your x. So, 28 degrees plus 62 degrees equals 90 degrees. 28 degrees plus 62 degrees is 90 degrees equals to 90 degrees. Therefore, our answer is 28 degrees. Next figure. What about if we have this 2x degrees and x degree? So, you have again add that 2 measure of angle x plus 2x equals 90 degrees. Combine x. So, 3x equals 90 degrees. Then, divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3, cancel out. That is equal to 1. And we'll have here x. 90 degrees divided by 3 is... Correct. That is 30 degrees. 
So that is the measure of our first angle, this one, the smaller one. Next, if we have the bigger angle, 2x, just substitute 30 to your x. So you have 2 times 30 degrees, that is equal to 60 degrees. So that is our second angle. Now let us have checking. Considering the formula x plus 2x equals to 90 degrees, then substitute 30 degrees to your x. So we have 30 degrees plus 2 times 30 degrees is 60 degrees. That is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, that is equal. Therefore, our answer is 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, let us give the complement of each angle. So, we have here the given. Angle A, B, C equals to 25 degrees. And the unknown angle is angle D, B, A. So, let's find out the measure of this angle. And as you see, there is a perpendicular symbol. Okay? So, again... Just add the measure of angle ABC plus angle ABD equals to 90 degrees. So, ABC is equal to 25 degrees. And the measure of angle ABD is represented by X plus 3 degrees. So, these two are equal to 90 degrees. Combining like terms, let's combine 90 degrees and transpose 25 degrees to the other side. So, we'll get negative 25 degrees. So, from positive, it becomes negative. And positive 3 degrees becomes negative 3 degrees. So, x is equal to 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. Minus 3 degrees is equal to, correct, that is 62 degrees. That is the value of our x. To find out the measure of this angle, let's substitute. So, again, angle ABD is equal to x plus 3 degrees. Just substitute 62 to your x. Therefore, 62 degrees plus 3 degrees it is equal to 65 degrees so our answer here is 65 degrees let's find out by checking so 25 degrees plus 65 degrees is equal to 90 degrees 25 degrees plus 20 plus 65 degrees that is equal to 90 degrees equals 90 degrees so meaning our answer is 65 degrees. This angle measures 65 degrees. Now, let us find out the linear pair. Two angles form a linear pair if and only if they are adjacent and their common, uncommon sides are opposite ways. So, here we have two lines, line A and line B, and it form four angles. Angle 1, angle 4, angle 3, and angle 2. So, the linear pair are angle 1, so this one, and angle 2. The other pair is angle 2 and angle 3. Next is angle 3 and angle 4. Last pair is angle 4 and angle 1. So as you see, they are adjacent or magkatabid sila. And remember this postulate. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. When you say supplementary, the measure of two angles are 
equal to 180 degrees. So let us have supplementary angles. So I have here two angles. The measure of angle COB, COB is 70 plus the measure of AOB, angle AOB is 110. So if we add 70 degrees and 110, we'll get a total of 180 degrees. Okay, so it's not necessarily angles should be adjacent. Okay, so here we have angle ABC plus angle RQP. So if we add 130 degrees and 50 degrees, we'll come up with 180 degrees. So always remember, if the sum of the measures of two angles is 180, then the angles are supplementary. And we call it supplement of the other. Let us find out X. So if this is 130, X is 50 degrees. We'll just subtract. Next, what about if we have here this figure? Find X. So we have just add the measure of these two angles angle pmn plus angle nmj so we have 5x minus 25 plus 55 degrees that is equal to 180 degrees because these two are supplementary combining 180 degrees plus 25 degrees so negative dito inilipat natin naging positive Minus 55 degrees. So we have 5x equals 180 plus 25 degrees minus 55 degrees is equal to 150 degrees. Divide both sides by 5 and we'll get x equals 30. To find out the measure of angle PMN, just substitute 30 to your X. So we have this one is 5X minus 25. Substitute and we'll get 5 times 30 that is 150 degrees minus 25 degrees that is 125 degrees. Now let us find out this X. So, we have, remember, the sum of these two angles should be equal to 180 degrees. So, angle ABD is equal to 10X minus 4 degrees. Plus, the measure of CBD is 7X plus 14 degrees equals to 180 degrees. So, you have to combine... 10x and 7x and then by transposition this negative 4 degrees become positive 4 degrees this positive 14 degrees becomes negative 14 degrees so nag change ng sign kapag inilipat so 10x plus 7x is 17x 180 plus 4 minus 14 is 170 degrees. Divide both sides by 17. And we'll give you 10 degrees. So that is the value of our X. Now let us find out the measure of ABD. And remember, ABD is equal to 10x minus 4. Just substitute. 10 times 10 minus 4. And that is 100 minus 4. And will give you 96. So that's the measure of ABD. What about angle CBD? It is represented by 7x plus 14. Again, just substitute 7 times 10 
plus 14. And that is 70 plus 14. That is 84 degrees. Now, let us have congruent angles. So, congruent angle are congruent if two are having equal measure. So, here we have angle G is congruent to angle S. They both have a measure of 42 degrees. Now, let us have vertical angles. So, when you say vertical angles... These are angles which are non-adjacent angle formed by two intersecting lines. So, I have here two intersecting lines. And the vertical angles here are angle 1 and angle 3. Next is angle 2 and angle 4. Now, let us find out. If this is 115, what is the measure of angle AEB so we have 115 because this angle is congruent to this angle okay next number 2 what about CEA remember CEA and AEB are linear pair so kapag linear pair that is equal to 180 you'll just Subtract. So, 180 degrees minus 115, that is 65 degrees. Next, the last one, if this is 65 degrees, therefore, this is also 65 degrees. Now, let us have this one. Determine whether the given pairs of angles are vertical or linear pair. Number one. Angle TSU and VSW, that is, vertical angles. They are non-adjacent, hindi sila magkatabi. Next, angle VST and angle WSV, they are linear pair. Number three, WSU and WSV. So, these two, they are linear pair. Next, angle WSU, WSU and angle UST. So, these two, they are vertical angles now let us have this one let us find first x so as you see vertical angles are congruent to find out x will just equate angle wsu is equal to angle tsv so wsu is equal to 5x and tsv is equal to 4x plus 30. Okay. Transpose 4x to the other side. It becomes negative. Equals 30 degrees. 5x minus 4x. It is equal to x. Equals to 30 degrees. Next, WSU is equal to 5x. So, we just 5 times 30 is 150 degrees if this is 150 angle vsw is equal now to vsw plus 150 equals 180 and that is equal to 30 degrees